peace and power, universal family, tranquility over you and all of your houses. Happy, what is it? Happy Monday. Are you noticing it's hard to keep a track <laughs> of the days? What is it with this time between Christmas and New Year's? It's like, it's all a blur. I think this whole year has been a blur. If you hear that, this is my granddaughter. My four-month-old granddaughter in the background here. But what I'd like to do this rise... Instead of reading excerpts from my book, The Unseen Clown, Preponderance of the Evidence, this is the Enchanted Edition. Uh, you can purchase directly from me, or you can go to lulu.com, that's L-U-L-U dot -L -U com, Amazon, Barnes & Noble. If you just Google me or Google the book, you can find it. It's being sold everywhere. Um, I prefer dealing directly with people though. I love the personal touch and by doing that you also obtain an autograph copy along with a love gift created by me. So it's up to you. No pressure. So what I'd like to do Toward the back of the book, I've dedicated a chapter to Quan's quotes, and I'm going to read one or some and ex expand upon my thought process. You know, 49 years walking this earth in this form, you pick up some gems of wisdom, and I just want to share and hopefully it can be edifying and fulfilling for you to help you avoid or get out of situations. You know what I mean? There'll always be some mountains, stumbling blocks. But if you can avoid or if you gain the wisdom to know how to navigate it, life doesn't have to be difficult. How do they say? Work smarter, not harder. Yes, yes. Okay, so this first one. A multiplayer game that you believe you're a part of when in reality you are not. It makes you look delusional or a fool. Be neither. And what that basically means is a lot of times, they're miscommunications. A lot of moving parts in life, whether it be um, in the virtual world, online, or just in life in general. And things get lost. And if you are not the type, or if another party is not the type, to speak directly, if you don't go directly to the source respectfully and gain true understanding with the what's what if you choose to go the passive aggressive route it's so draining in the ongoing cycle of tit for tat and just straight foolishness and if you took the time to get to the bottom of the issue you'll find that it was a misunderstanding or you'll find you're going through a whole bunch of changes and then realize you weren't even beefing or in a war with someone. It was a misunderstanding, uh, an incorrect assumption. Um, it's hearsay that you shouldn't have listened to. You know, a sister of mine did a live and she was uh, one of the things she touched upon is people who might already have negative thoughts about you for whatever reason from wherever and just waiting on the moment for something to appear grimy well they don't like you anyway <laughs> so 
they'll gravitate, they'll hold on to that like, ah, I knew it. I always knew it about that person. This is what the sister was talking about. And that's what happens. So you take from that as grown as we are, always go to the source or not. It depends on how important it is to you. If it's not important, then what's the point of feeding into it if you don't have full or true story? Right? Right. Let's see. Ah, okay. Here's another one. <laughs> Ping! A tsunami of words does not intellect make. There is power in subtle beauty in just one look. To conjugate your spoken thoughts. What does that mean? You have souls that can turn a phrase like nothing out, nothing else. It's a superpower. It's a superpower. You could be as wordy as you want to be, but what are you really saying? Is there meat behind what you're saying? Are you just using a lot of, did you hit the uh, thesaurus this morning and you're throwing out a bunch of nothing? Okay. You want substance, not the quantity, the substance. I'll give you a for instance. I used to fret about numbers, numbers, numbers. Oh, you know, how how many people do I have following me on certain outlets. Oh, you know, I lost one. Oh, I gained one. When real in reality, it's like what is the quality of that relationship? What does it translate into? And I'm not just speaking about monetary. It's not about that. Not for me. You know, that do I do I like, <laughs> you know, earnings for my works, for my energy. Yeah, that's nice, but that's not my why. And when I remember that, it makes it oh so sweet and nothing can touch me. You know, it doesn't take the joy. It doesn't take the passion to do. I've noticed there's some very profound people out here who have less subscribers or followers than I do and they're definitely more profound I mean profound is it's relative you know uh, for me they I admire them and they resonate deeply and I'm shocked at the low number that they have but it's not the point they're making an impact for true, for people, you know, for whatever reason, people don't subscribe, again, going back to your why, if it's about edifying and uplifting, it doesn't matter, so yeah, uh, I try to make sure that in what I do, it's poignant, it has meaning, I can... I can get an idea or see something, smell something. One of my senses, if not all, are activated. And I might jot down just a word or a phrase. I might just do a video, just a video, no music, no lyrics, and I hold it and I'll wait. Until spirit says, put it forth. What's the point for me? I'm, I'm not speaking on anyone else. I don't find the point in just throwing out whatever for the sake of doing that to be relevant. No, for me, that just strokes ego and that gets in the way for me personally. Uh, let's do one more and 
I'm going to give my attention back to my granddaughter. Be mindful not to co-sign on unread documents, physical or spiritual. There's a lot of that. It seems like negative attention gets a lot of play. on someone's life and co-sign on shit that they know nothing about or has nothing to do with them. They are quick to co-sign on that, not realizing they are on the wrong side of the coin, if you will, or really shouldn't be on any side because they know nothing about it. And when, I won't say if, when truth is exposed with true facts and documents, as opposed to, oh, I know that person, oh, they appear to be so loving, oh, they're so helpful, da-da-da-da-da. What do you know? What do you really know? Me, I like cold, hard facts. Unedited facts. If it's relevant for me. Don't come to me with gossip. Don't come to me with gossip. That spirit of gossiping plants a terrible seed. And it shows. And that bad energy gets all over you. Okay. And it has nothing to do with you. So, why draw that? Alright. So, with that going to end there. Again, The Unseen Clown, Preponderance of the Evidence. My name is Trinia Murphy. I am Ponder Kwan, all day, always been. Check me out on Facebook. Um, My page, Kwan Nubian's Keys to the Vault. Or I share things on my main page, Trinia Murphy. Ponder Kwan on Instagram. If you're here on YouTube, Ponder Kwan. I am on Spotify or Anchor.fm. Also, check me out and some other wonderful artists on the E14 Media Network. Brother E has. Mr. Sampson. You got to check it out. He's doing a lot uh, for unsigned artists, unknown artists. He's bringing them to the forefront. A myriad of talent. Um, Definitely something to check out. It's a whole nother level. And he's doing a lot of big things. A lot of big things. Uh, Yeah. So that's it. So go forth. Um, be the light to those who need to feel the warmth of your shine. Oh, now she's faded. She's, <laughs> she's going to sleep. Can you see her? <laughs> be the light to those who need to feel the warmth of your shine. And know when to be darkness to those who need to feel the cool of your shade. In all things, there is light. Yes, yes. Be blessed. Stay lifted.